so there we go a little bit late but I'd say everything between 40 and 50 is still well on time <laughs> hello and welcome everyone hi John and hi Kaloki I were staying patiently in chat while I was getting ready for streaming so let me post this here Hi Garfield, how are you? <laughs> so, there we go. Let me see that I'm shutting down quickly the things that don't have to be running right now. So we don't get any problems during the stream. There we go. So yeah, I've, like I wrote in chat, I've been waiting, um, not waiting, working on some code. So as you guys maybe remember, we had some issues with the plantation worker not crafting or sometimes weird requests in the builder hat, for example, not crafting, not working accordingly. So what the problem actually is, is that when the warehouse gets a request, say for 32 um of an item and the wearer says yeah well i can i can give you one and the remaining has to be crafted then the warehouse is going to tell that remaining request that the warehouse is the requester and that would then basically break a few things like local requests if a worker is going to try to do the crafting himself stone bricks and that fixes actually seem to be trivial but it seems that some information that gets created when creating a request on the building itself um, is missing and we get a, a crash when we see the list so we'll have to debug that a little bit and see what I can do Oh, we have stone here. Neat. We need stone bricks, Chenny said. And hi, Sad Horizon. How are you today? Um, Sub Evans, I think you should probably get already two banners for yourself. Two banners. Yeah, one I for each of the. Die. One for each of the. Right away. Yeah, um, each one for each of the barracks. Yes, exactly. <coughs> I mean, if you don't die, I don't need any. <laughs> that That's a big if. <laughs> Hi, Tiny Tots. And I'm going to say this nicely, because you died more often at the raid yesterday than I did. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, it's because I don't have any guards with me. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because I exposed your tragic past and you kind of lost your internal motivation to survive. Yeah, and I just go to barbarians and wait to die. Yes, exactly. It's so like when I our... Can we <laughs> I do every day when I have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically that. Okay, we got some growing up. You got Karen here, who grew up. Um, who, who is the worker that complains the most? Uh, Twitter is telling me that Karen are people who complain a lot. Who should be a Karen then? <laughs> Do you need a juke box for that one? Ah, for the level 5. Uh, it's only level 4 for now. So we are still fine niche yet. What is what is the herder doing behind here? What is some funky thing going on here? What what are you guys doing here? Can can someone tell me that? <laughs> A 
bunch of workers seem to be kind of stuck here. And I think I just threw some of my stuff at them accidentally. Yeah, it's the multiple... Hey! <laughs> yeah, they're definitely confused about the doors. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a bad so vanilla I, I can't handle multiple doors behind each other. Okay, okay, I'm going to delete those doors here. Now you go. Yeah. I think we can just use two what let's say one one. Hi Margo, how are you? How how was um, Lord of the Rings. Um, as a short reference, the doors here were telling the guards, "You shall not pass." And I'm really wondering what, what, what is Easton doing here? Are you? Oh, I paused him. Ah, you paused him. He's just walking around randomly. I wanted to make some more calls, so because he always only requests to read, so it takes a long um. time. Can you recall him so that he's not walking around outside of the colony? <laughs> yeah. yeah, outside might be a bit dangerous. Okay, I'm going to close this one here. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I was able to start running my experiments today. I was wearing the server threads around three physical machines and the results seem to be fine for now but I haven't been haven't really started the comparison yet I was just mainly experimenting around with how the program handles different client threats and all these kinds of oh we got a bunch of sick people here in the hospital now we I think we I didn't have at the fix yet here on that version yeah, the fix is relatively funny because when the worker has partially the resources in his inventory and partially in the building, he he kind of gets super confused, or he or she gets super confused. So that one was fixed in the 161, but we're a little bit behind on the server at the moment because I am still coding on the fixes. But I promise tomorrow we're going to play on a brand new cut of the edge version again. Mm. I think uh, the, the new it would be the new server only as well. <laughs> I, I advise, don't take this seriously, everyone to not go to a hospital because that's the places where the most people die. So that's, it's like, don't lie, don't sleep too much because most people in the world die in their bed, die in a bed. So being in a bed is usually a, a bad place to be. And that is statistically, right? It must be true. Yeah. That's some weird music. Uh, s similarly, the uttermost reason for death is birth, so that's kind of death sentence already there, right? Um, I, d I don't like those musics. When yeah, I'm going to go to the chill track again. Oh, he still needs brown wool. wool. Okay, but, but now I got the, the position, right? Where was it? Um, that was deaf. And let me let me remove the numerous deaf points I have in the world. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, now, where was the jungle? It's southeast. South. 
East, you say? Yeah, about all colonies. East. Okay, there. I found a waypoint. Takes five men with a boat or so. Yeah. Um, and I'm out of wood, so I need to get some wood in the warehouse quickly. So that we can craft a little boat. So we can get there. Ah, and I wanted to get some sandstone as well. To quickly fix our... Our wall there. Yeah, after our pirate attack. After the pirate attack, that wall ended pretty... Uh, not very protective, let's say it like that. Okay, that should be fine. Let's go there. Oh. Mm. oh, and didn't get the sandstone, I only got the... <laughs> I got oh, no. We got a pillager in our combat academy. <laughs> what is he doing? Okay, um <laughs> the amount of boats around the ocean. Yeah that that must be a relatively big number. <laughs> I definitely clear agree on that one. I don't I don't even remember anymore how many I left I myself left behind. And there are the the boats, yeah. some addons and legs left behind too, right? Okay, our hospital is empty at least. No not empty but almost empty. Let's check out the What's the healer doing right now? Quickly. Yeah, all these lag all these, all the lag is obviously only because of the entire boat fleet I left behind all over the world. Mm, here. I'm going to need both of these. Now let's run there. Not really, Daggy. <laughs> yeah, the crafting benches. I'm sure if the amount of crafting benches is actually bigger, and there's a, a serious chance to that, definitely. <laughs> um. Um. Here. And here. I guess we repaired it. Oh, there are this, uh, the letters of some errands that probably are causing some serious lag as well. All around. Those are item entities as well, right? Tile entities, you mean no? No, items. I mean, not the letters ah, placed. Yeah, yes, yes. Those flowing, flying around items. Um, I really don't like when I place the boat under the seafloor it stays there <laughs> okay and there we sail and there's the channel oh, it's a thousand five hundred blocks that's not so bad could have saved myself a lot of running around yesterday but I wanted to explore a little bit a little bit of the world and I felt like it bye way bye Not even lucky. Damn it. Were you there? Waving? Yeah, I was on the <laughs> Tower Island. Ah, that's uh, actually even close. Ah. Okay, I think I have to do kind of sail around a little bit of this. Um. Ice stuffy thingy. At least if we need eyes for any higher level buildings, we got this pretty close. And hi Ninja Chipmunk, how are you today? Today we're going to get the stuff we need a little bit more quickly, I believe. There's something... Ah, there's that house there. 
I was wondering, I was only seeing the upper part of uh, particles rendered already, but not the other things. <laughs> yeah. And Maybe now you I can find the barbarian home. No. It's just one of these houses thingies. <laughs> I I am concerned. But uh I, be I believe some, Ad some addons can do this without killing anyone. Who should I kill? <laughs> Not anyone. Not anyone. So, someone. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Channel, there we go. Oh, I need another boat. Okay. Let's place another boat in the world. <laughs> Let's see, another boat and another crafting bench. There we go. Hi Superminix, how are you? Um, today was also... Not sure if you guys heard, but... Um, Relatively big news on Monday was that Curse Forge was sold to a company called Oberwolf, which basically is already working with some add-on, um, with um, League of Legend add-ons for a while already, and these kinds of things, and allowing creators to get some money out of this, and so Curse Forge with the Minecraft, World of Warcraft, etc. plugins was a relatively probably cheap acquisition compared to the user base because yeah. definitely Twitch didn't want to spend another dime on that. <laughs> um, what kind of info did you did you wanting from them? Because I I read a bunch of their the stuff they sent, and today was the like a private um, creator meeting where a bunch of um, mod authors were invited to talk about it. So we got some additional info there again as well. So if you want to know anything, maybe I can give you a little bit of extra info on that. Yes, they are working on a new launcher. And they will want to make that la I think initially, as far as I heard, it will be... Yes, I finally found the channel. Initially, as far as I understood, it will be... Um, uh, Windows and... Um, Mac. But they do plan on adding Linux support as well in the future. No, they they can't resurrect Barnaby, unfortunately. I did I did ask today, and they were just like, "What?" So I guess that meant no. Yeah, I found it pretty demotivating as well. <laughs> in in general, they plan on, of course, making money, but. Um, I'm talking about the Overwolf purchase of uh, Curse Forge. Can you sleep quickly, some addons? <laughs> A gold statue of Barnaby? That would definitely be something fitting, though, yeah. Um, name and skills for now only but yeah we, we plan on adding in the future things like 
family information and maybe with who who is married or something like that so yeah um, in general it seems like they're interested in helping creators to fund their development so overly that could be that could be good for us and hi Jamie Ellis Gamer <laughs> thanks for rating us I appreciate it um, oh we got a bunch of children after the death yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just... Oh, God, so I got to And thanks for all the new followers. That's amazing, guys. Oh, nice. Welcome, everyone, to our channel. Um, I am one of the main developers of uh, Mind Colonies, and some add-ons here as... Pixel Blockers is also one of the maintainers of Mind Colonies, and we are casually playing Mind Colonies here together, talking about future features and general things uh, related to the Minecraft universe as well. <laughs> no, there is Alice, that was an amazing cook. There's Felix, which was an amazing delivery man. And the rest were builders, yes. <laughs> we, we definitely don't have the emotional energy to, to miss our miners or guards. <laughs> yeah, we're well, we in sorrow all day long. And amazing ninja, that's, uh, that's really great, that helps us a lot. Because at the moment it's relatively difficult to get any support from our development. And maybe in the future there's going to be some more support from CurseForge that will allow us to fund a little bit of this development at least. Um, how much do I have? 31? Let's get a little bit more while I'm here already. Hi, Domatis. How are you? How are you doing? Um, let me check out the stuff I'm needing here. We're still we're on the search for a bunch more cocoa beans because our builder is in need of brown wool, and that is, seems to be unfortunately the, the only way to get brown wool. That might be interesting too. Is there a temple nearby? Uh, I'm not seeing any on the map at least. Mm, that would be a way as well. How, how does by the way the cocoa bean growing work? Just having random jungle woods and it jungle wood around and it will grow on it? So going, going from me saying your name correctly, do I stand correctly that it is something from a Latin language? Ah, that's nice that I didn't know. And amazing Captain Saw, that would also be a huge help for sure. Uh, that one is not fully grown yet. Ah, nice. I didn't know that. So in the future I'm going to do that instead. Put one of these in the colony and then wait until they grow. Definitely faster then as well. At least to get some of it.
Since it's relatively easy to the west, is that the east? No, that's east. That's west. Um, I'm sure. I don't think there's any temple here to the west. <laughs> you did mean east. <laughs> yeah, general directions are difficult to remember. No, I can't see any temple here though. Um, let us teleport back, we're now fine. Yeah, normally you can see it on the journey map. MC colony, teleport, and back we are. What, what is it? What kind of mod, ninja? Tell me, tell me all about it. <laughs> No, the other right. Well, what is happening? Samedons, what are you doing? You, you leave some addons alone for one second. And, that, and that's what you get. And a bunch of random saplings here too. I thought we need some more trees in our corner. Some more trees? Yeah. Maybe in real world we got the global warming, but... Um, I'd allow to work. <laughs> I'm going to get the shoe. Some add-ons. What are you doing? <laughs> you have too much time. <laughs> okay, let me let me dump my stuff. Then I'm going to make a bunch of that colored wool. Just need to find an empty one. Where is an empty rack? I'm tempted... Ah, here. There we got one. Dump a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. A bunch more of the cocoa beans. And then let me get some wool quickly. Wool. Yeah, and some Adams already has a big enough list to be busy, <laughs> actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's supposed to be busy. I'm still missing pull requests, though. When was the last time you made a pull request? It's been like a mm, month or so. Not sure, two weeks ago. So. Feel like feels months. If I don't see a pull request every week, I'm disappointed some add-ons. It's because I have to stream so much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do all day long? I thought you're a student. I thought you have nothing to do in your life. See, that's why I'm planting trees. You're a student, and that's why you have to plant trees. Yes, I need to stop global warming. Bad excuse. Very bad excuse. Okay, let me get some of these. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going to get three diamonds to make an axe. And stop this madness here. Do you know what, for, what the trees are for? Yeah, even Minecraft Shirley did more pull requests than you did. Yeah. In the past three days. <laughs> See? The, the this trees are for more letters. Very, dis very disappointing. Don't, don't insult me, Margo. I'm, I'm a millennial.
91. That's not good enough to be a boomer. Not even good enough to be Gen X. Now. <laughs> Hey, I have... I have a super sub sustainable lifestyle, by the way. I got a plant-based diet. And I buy clothes at the second-hand store, at the thrift shop. So that no new clothes that cause a lot of water are produced. My lifestyle is very eco-friendly. The only thing bad is the number of flight miles I have to do because of my dual decree. That's pretty bad. I almost got this darn trees out of the way. You leave this guy for one second alone, Lord. I, mean, I thought I went to the jungle. I came home and we have a jungle here. Yeah, see, you didn't have to go. Uh, almost. Oh, you placed those darn things all over the colonies, are you kidding me? We had some saplings in our warehouse. Yeah, I believe so. These saplings are supposed to go to the... To the composter. Oh lord. I'm really reluctant to just <sighs> put everything on fire. <laughs> hey, burn it. Just burn it. Hi, hi, I have three boys. I don't, but you have, se seemingly. Oh lord, that tree at least fits. Those are fine too. But the other ones, lord, some add-ons. Could have planted them at least part a bit. <laughs> yeah, e end of the server. Everything burned out of rage. Everything burns down. How of how often does uh, our uh, our hoster make a backup of the server? <laughs> I think it was once a day only. They do, they do. I, I, I looked into that because I was concerned. I mean, historically, um. He, mankind has always been very good in burning down forests. Yeah, that's most of what it does. That uh, that is how we eradicated more like ninety percent of all land-based predators until now, over the last eighty thousand years. I did read a very interesting book on that. That humans. Like the th the thing that nature that humans used to have like to live together with nature is kind of a hoax because humans since basically their existence since they left Africa has been basically have had one mission and one mission only and that was destroying the ecosystems they arrived in. Okay, we, we, got, we got at it. Huh? We got quite good at it. Yeah, we got pretty good at it. I think that's something you can say human mankind is really talented in. Okay, we're getting there. That tree looks fine, we can leave it. It is okay as well. Can leave some of the trees. 
What is he doing there? No, that one here I leave as well. That one that was there before. As far as I know. Uh, where's my axe? Here it is. What is kind of weird mix? Ah, that one is. Doesn't belong here. Okay, I guess that's better. Looks a little bit messed up, but... Meh. Okay. I think those are fine. Can leave them. Oh, and if you write in the server relay, it's going to end up here. In the in the chat. In the chat, in the chat. Uh, let me drop off that stuff here now. Uh, here, that's a good one. Uh -huh, dum -de -dum. Did I get my wool yet? I did. Yes. Brown wool. We got it, folks. We got it, finally. <laughs> Let me deliver that there. Our second builder needs one too, by the way. A brown wool? Yes. Rose needs one. <laughs> no, it's because there's a server relay channel in the developer's chat that you can use to write... Okay, let's get no, she needs right stone away. bricks. Ah, you mean in her request list? Yes, my lord. Yeah, in her list. No, she doesn't. Oh. No. Right. I will check the wrong list. <laughs> check the wrong list. Don't believe it. I'm going to drop the stuff and nonetheless. There we go. Um as I like I was saying, we were in this I was in the Overwolf stream today uh, stream thing today. For now it seems nothing has to change. Mainly people will have to create a new account or do like a single sign-on at the New York Curse website. But as far as I understood, the integration is only going to start around October. So there's going to be a bunch of time until then. And yeah, in general they're going to develop an app that's going to be out on Mac. Um, in Windows from the beginning and then they're going to work on a Linux app as well. It seems they're going to use the Twitch app as a baseline to start developing things. So that might mean that initially that app still sucks. <laughs> um, they do have a Trello site um, and they seem extremely open to um, feedback and critique. So if you have like any ideas or something it's probably good to just chat them on on, on their Discord channels or um, comment on the Trello issues. Like um, Chom said, they have a Trello board where all the things they're working on are published. Um, it seems they want to work a little bit better with, uh, with ads to allow modders to earn more money with Curse. Although, yeah, another Discord. Hi, House of Doggers. Although I was trying to talk to them to kind of adjust the rewarding mechanism. Because at the moment the reward mechanism um, rewards mainly um, utility mods. Like, at the moment, Craft Tweaker, just because it's a mod that's in every mod pack, even though it's relatively simple to code makes 50 times more money than mine colonies so i was trying to push them maybe to a more 
manual approach where people can kind of decide in which directions resources are allocated so that mods with slightly bigger communities get a chance as well. Ah, I need books and bookshelves it was, right? I think we have some in the, in the warehouse. <clears throat> yeah, back button might be good. That's a decent idea. What are you doing there? Oh, our worker here is getting ready. I do have some with me, so I can fill those in here. I think at the moment it's always a good moment to voice our concerns and complaints. Hi Strothaler. Yeah, that guard was heavily diving under the bridge to make sure no leprechauns are hiding there. However... Um, herder is almost ready and the builder is on the top of the hut. I haven't seen that one in a while. Um, I do need a quick um, crafting bench. That's what I was looking for. Do we have one in the, in the delivery man hut? Nope. Dum -de dum. I think we have one in here, don't we? The quest. I'm going to make my own. To put another. Yeah, there. There we go. Um, wooden shovels and uh, <laughs> better not. That is that's going to be too slow. There we go. Stone shovels are fine. Yeah, did, did he not learn from Barnaby? Seemingly not so. Can you sleep quickly, Sam Adams? Mm, yeah. Mm, I'm sure. Fixing the path around. Okay, that should be fine now. Maybe putting here a few torches under the wall as well. Hi Irish Chef, how are you? Yeah. Leo is definitely not going to get a statue. He's nice, but he's no Barnaby. Okay, um... Things are coming along very nicely. But Hey, he got he got down alone, so we gotta g give him that. Vertical slabs, but that's quark, right? What do you mean with a non OP comment? No, you can't. Uh, issue comments through the chat relay. No, our builders since Barnaby were safe. Yeah, we, we will have to find the sheep again. I'm sure where those got. Oh, that door got destroyed as well. A bunch of kids here in the schools bugging around in the floor I see. Sam Adams, you got that on your list, right? Yeah, so I want further down. <laughs> Can we push it a bit farther up? That should be a relatively easy fix for you, probably. Okay, I'm moving it to the top. <laughs> I got on my list for this weekend um, to finally code the builder bucketing. So that the builder oh, takes nice. like a certain quantity of items. Like when the builder uh, starts building, the all resources are 
cut into like batches and the builder then pre-requests the entire batch and is going to take one entire batch with him where the batch size is more or less the amount of items he can safely carry Yes, yeah, Adams definitely has to fix that one. Um, I think I do want to upgrade the blacksmith as well. Oh, oh wait. Um, dum -de dum I wanted... Yeah, no plotting with some Adams. Don't give him stupid ideas. He has enough stupid ideas by himself. <laughs> I always like new ideas, like new, new dangerous monsters or some explosions or some kind of this. And there, there is actually a research already for bigger um, worker inventories. Yeah, that is uh, a second part of something we're going to work on. First, we're going to work on the batching. Um, then we will divide the building step into digging um, and scaffolding. So we're going to probably going to build some kind of scaffolding around the build site. And that scaffolding would also um, include then a building chest where things are pushed around in. Um, dum -de dum how is Chani doing? She seems fine for now. Barnaby seems fine from the distance too, so we can actually get those iron boots finally Because we do need um, We do need um, What is the name delivery man hats that was the name I was looking for okay No Barnaby is not back Barnaby is not going to come back. It's it's really sad. Oh, it's Lee. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> See, I'm just so used to Barnaby working at this build hut. Building is so rewarding. Um not the not the iron ones without any damage on them. That's a problem. Um, the beekeeper we do not have in this update yet. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a little bit behind on the server at the moment. Um, tomorrow we're going to update and include the beekeeper update too. I think no. Not that I know of. I can double check quickly. Iron boots? Nope. Oh, hi Kugo! <laughs> how are you Kugo? How, how are things going for you? Um, still waiting for the delivery man. What are you doing, demon? Meanwhile, I can probably get some... Go dump this stuff again. I don't know what I'm always doing, dumping. And maybe I got now. Um, getting some leads and then trying to find some sheep. I'm saying, seeing some here already. So that should be not so difficult. Ah, awesome. Getting some progress on those. Um, Kugo is one of our long term builders. Um, we got what I was looking for. Leads, leads, leads. Are they here back? No, they're, I think, in the front room. Um, was it in tools? There it is. Okay. 
progress. Um, so there's one sheep around here. Um, ah, there it is. Come, sheepy sheep. A green one, even. There we go. Be a nice sheep. Come here. What? That was not intended. You're not supposed to open the door. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing, Shepard? Come. Come to daddy, come, leave sheep. Come. Can sheep go through doors that are open? Mm, not sure. It, they don't sheep? go to open doors. Oh lord, this is okay. annoying. But at least it means that it, they can't leave through doors either. So that is useful. Okay. The second sheep now. Uh, where is the other sheep? I'm seeing one there. Yeah, I had to make a hole on the fence, yes. I know there are some sheep here. Uh, let me destroy this block so they can come up. Whoosh. Um, when we transfer to 116, are you going to change the file orientation? What do you mean the the file orientation? What do you mean with that, Google? Sheep do swim. You can see it. Here, the sheep is swimming. Here, sheepy sheep. Come. You can do it. Come. Come. Oh, we got it. Um. Ah, um, good question. I think that is not going to be a 116 thing and more a schematic server thing. Um, that is going to change a lot of things when we get finally... Ah, lost on the lead. Come, we're getting close. Come here. Uh, if we get the schematic server a lot of these issues get resolved automatically, basically. Um, yeah, 116 is getting closer. Um, Forge got Forge to run <laughs> in 116. So I believe Minecraft released uh, 116 1 today to balance out Realms issues they had. And you would guess they had tested 116s in private realms instances already, right? <laughs> nope. Seemingly not. No. Too big head. Too much work. Let's just break everything and then we see how it works out. Yeah, it's not like they have pre releases all the time. Exactly. It has them, it's, it's all broken. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I guess in around two weeks or so, we can start porting things. As far as I know, um, Nightenum, which is the developer that is mainly working on Structurize and things around there. And so Nightenum already looked into it. So we're going to, s and he said that Structurize 
is going to need some rendering updates around our GUIs. But besides that, and generally, it looks pretty, pretty good. So I, th I'm pretty positive on the amount of work, not being as much for us to to port that. So we are going to have 116 support. I would say likely you're going to see that somewhat in July. Um, um, yeah, 117 is going to be mountains, but it doesn't mean that mountains is going to be the main element of 117. It means that mountain is going to be a element or an element of 117. I really hope that maybe for a cave and underground update, because caves are really boring, and I think that's one of the things that definitely needs some some updates. Um, what do you mean with that? Like instead of having styles, you just have wood types, and within the wood types, you can have like different alternatives. I'm not sure I'm understanding what you're what you're aiming for, Kugo. So that's a bit better. Snow or snow? Yeah, snow is one of the m most broken aspects in Minecraft. Um, it, it is it is just amazing how how pathing and and snow works. It's basically snow renders higher than their collision boxes so you can technically jump higher than one block with snow because 1.2 high snow seemingly is only one block high and it was an enormous enormous amount of work to get that working nicely with citizen pathing i think some of you guys might remember Citizens not pathing very well on the snow. It was a lot of a lot of annoying work to get that Halfway working some in some way yeah. It was a huge pain Talking I was wanting to get some books and I totally forgot about it again. It's always it's totally sidetracked Or did you mean Kugo that um, each style could be available in each wood type. Um, books. How much? How many books do we have here in the warehouse? A lot of enchanted books. Thirty-two normal books. Not so bad. I need twenty-five for the for the research book. Twenty-five. There we go. Ah, yes. Um, that is mostly a GUI thing. And yes, like, and like I said, this is something we can do with the schematic server ideas we have. That's, initially it's going to be the schematic server and then when we got the schematic server ready, we can then start talking about adding GUI options to organize that better and to improve search and these kinds of things, definitely. I'm already getting... Please, people, no one private message me about when mine colonies will be 116. I'm going to just assume people being trolls and I'm not going to answer this. <laughs> we made an announcement about this and it will be ready when it will be ready and it mostly depends on how far, how quickly Forge is going to be 
on 116, somewhat stable. I literally just got the DM, someone asking, please tell me, when will it be 16, 116? Yeah, we're going to code a bot that's every time someone mentions 116, we're going to say <laughs> Patience, just one word in chat Exactly, there was that announcement by Asher and that is to be taken literally <laughs> I mean, it's not as bad as in the Forge chat where people are Asking every five minutes <laughs> When 116? When 116? When 116? Let's sort that one here again Maybe we find an empty Chest somewhere There we go uh, This one here This one here Better. Um, I was. I still didn't get my two iron blocks though. Yes, that would definitely be possible. Exactly, Google. We're going to allow to add kind of like metadata to schematic packs, which would exactly allow that then um, to be displayed and organized in the GUI. That's the idea. Um, yeah, that is actually not a Forge problem, House of Doggers. That's an Optifine problem. It's because Optifine kinda doesn't give a shit for anyone else in the community. Does their own thing and mixes a lot of things within Optifine. Optifine could easily just make a pull request for shader support to Forge. And that is going to be then maintained for the future. And that would be accepted instantly. But it's because Optifine is obviously not interested in anything. Yeah, we got some ideas about the usage of dogs, of hounds as well. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That would be possible then as well. But that is, like I said, it mainly depends on the schematic server being ready one day. Um, I was wanting to get those remaining fishing rods here out of the system. These are just cramping our warehouse full without being any useful. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not going to give barbarians dogs. Okay. Some Eddins is back. Yeah, I disconnected. Ah, you disconnected? So it's not only me, at least. <laughs> this time it hit some Eddins. The DC. Um, the fisherman uses them, but the fisherman got a mending fishing rod. So the fisherman is kind of fine for forever. Because he's always repairing his own fishing rod and is just accumulating fishing rods here, meanwhile. That's basically what's happening. <laughs> yes, he didn't hear that. Okay, see you around, Kugo. And thanks for your... Uh, work on the schematics. Everyone give a kudos to Kugo for helping out. For our entire schematic team, to be honest, Kugo, um, Aravan, Luna, and Carlsoner and Tyler that are doing an amazing job providing us with all these styles. Yeah, they are quite, quite nice. I never, I never forget 
that those things is also what allows us to how would I say it code in peace <laughs> yeah we don't have to do those the, we, we don't have own. to do those things because I, I don't stress it enough but like a year back uh, not a year back but around two years back maybe since when is Luna in the project a year yeah, more or less it. right Thing. like around a year back most a lot of the things I was building basically and I got here and there some help but a lot of the work for the schematics was still done by me and I had to organize them and I had to rescan them and if there was a problem I had to investigate it and look after it and all these kinds of things and then after Luna joined and some other people like Kugo and Erevan also joined in um, this took a lot of work from my shoulders and allowed me to focus a lot more on the actual development of the mod which is also one of the reasons why the development speed has picked up a fair bit in the last year and a half yeah Yes, when we have the schematic server, we can have a GUI with the metadata that's going then to include the names of the authors. Exactly. That's like uh, all these features around schematics all evolve around this idea of schematic server, where we can store that metadata and can give people a nice GUI, nice GUI with all of this information. Yeah, that's why the old schematics looked so awkward. Although a lot of the old, like it depends on the schematics, the very old schematics were built by Peter and not by me. And then like the intermediary were then built by me after Peter left the project, which was around three years ago as well already. And then for around two years I had to do like Peter's job and the coder, the coding. And yes, um, meanwhile, in the last three years especially, we've built up a pretty nice specialized team where we got people looking after the discords, we got people working on the packs with Wissy, we got people working on sounds with Consoner, people working on HUDs, our builders, and we got Orion taking care of all our infrastructure, which is a lot of work and something very important to get our stuff done and we got people for the textures etc and of course the coders as well and um, we looked into mine colony's hot style classic yes however um, the problem of hot style classic is that the classic style has not even 50% of the buildings we need and a lot of the buildings don't fulfill all our requirements. Yeah, and I got myself another task because I didn't have enough to do to start streaming as well. Yeah. Can't just stream my coding? Yeah, I'm going to code on the side while stream. I could stream coding, although I'm sure I wouldn't get the same level of engagement I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk that much there either. Yeah, and I kind of lose... I tried it a few times. Like, I... I streamed the creation of the sifter entirely. Those are things that I like... If I got a pretty nice... It, decent idea of what I'm going to do, I can stream that, but... Yes, you knew, knew beforehand what... Exactly, if I know beforehand what I'm doing, but in general when I'm more searching around the code for a bug, trying to debug things, like, I'm sometimes just 10 hours trying to debug something, so that's not something I can really stream. Well, you can, but 
<laughs> yeah, people would just hear me mumbling around about university stuff when I'm trying on the other screen what? to you think I'm not strong enough? debug stuff. Watch. To debug stuff. I'm still waiting for my iron blocks. Just cancel it and restart it. We definitely need uh Iron, a block of iron it is. We definitely need more delivery men. We just don't have enough. I I completely forgot. I am so sorry. And there's definitely also John that is doing amazing work with all these schematics. I knew we had forgotten some. <laughs> I knew. I'm always forgetting it something. Always happens when you start listing names. Yes. It's always. Some people you think about. Um, or y yes, definitely. House of Douglas is um, exact on that one. So if you, like one of the biggest helps you can give us is give us a way to reproduce a bug. Like add two de two delivery men per warehouse level. Is usually the the amount we suggest. Like my motto is not not for nothing. I I reproduced it. I found it. I fixed it. Because that's literally it. I found a way to reproduce it. That's usually going to mean very likely I'm going to fix that in a relatively de reasonable time frame. Uh, no, it doesn't really fit here, unfortunately. That's funny. Oh, you found uh, my blog on Hive? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yes, uh, I used to write up a re relatively comprehensive blog on a blogging platform called Hive about how I was decoding the things. There's a lot of um, info on how to code workers, for example, there. Yeah, there's this hill here. I think I'm going to click upgrade on the delivery hut there as well to speed that up a bit too. Let me do that. Um, here doesn't fit. Would it fit maybe here? Let me try that out. One, two. Um, almost. Maybe this orientation. That fits perfectly, I would say. Let's move this on the same level here. And that works, I would say. One delivery man here. And the next one just behind it on the same height. One rotation. One over. And one back. One back can actually go exactly on that height so it won't overlap but they will be connected on this stream here done I need to click build on both too um yes if you move a guard tower you will lose the claim And you will gain the new claim at the new location, basically. Yeah. Or at least that's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, that's how it should work. At least in one section. What are you what are you up to, Penelope? Yes, that's probably uh 
a better way to handle it to make sure that there is a big enough claim area surrounding it all right that one has build as well let me push those up in the build queue in the town hall quickly get that one done I was almost was going into the warehouse to do that. Okay. Delivery man one. Push to the top of the list. Still got a bunch of things here in the list. Let me also push up quickly the archery. Because that we need for a bunch of researchers as well. Meanwhile I can check if I finally got my books. I did! Great. So I can start a research directly already. Yeah. I was kind of thinking as well. Maybe building another builder. But the builder needs so much oddly specific items. I'm not sure I want to go through that hassle again. Oh, we got a raid! Nice. What is it? South Southwest. South. Where is that? East. Ah, that's north. West. There we go. On the other hand of the colony. Can you sleep quickly? Yeah. Okay, I got the banners with me. And I'm going to call already the guards. Only 37 guards following me. Disappointing quantity. Everything under 40 is a disappointment. Yeah. What? Why is there no bed in this guard tower? <laughs> kind of guard tower is this? Are you sleeping? Ah, uh, no. You need to find a new bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found a bed. I'm going to sleep then. Okay. I think three three emotes is the maximum in number of emotes. Nightbot allows. Uh, yes. You need to come to the west. Oh, they started moving. I'm coming. Are they so far to the west? Yeah, directly on our west entrance. I'm coming with a decent group of guards. I should eat something probably. Good, I got some decent aggro again on the barbarians. A knight died! Oh no, that is unfortunate. Kylie Clark, poor Kylie. Another knight died? How did that happen? Oh. Maybe they're getting stuck here in the water somehow. Five raiders are left. Where are those raiders? Scarlet is there. Coward in the net. Corner. Oh, they went uh, north. <laughs> they are going to our mountain and climbing it. <laughs> are you? Go don't you have your spies? Yes. No, not spies, but your banner yet. Oh no. Where are they? Are slow anyways. They always take a while till they arrive. 
three raiders left. Where are they? I see two on top of our mountain. They're on top of our mountain. Yeah, yeah they went that far north. Ooh, wow. <laughs> the graveyard. I thought we had someone that wanted to implement the graveyard. That's why it got pretty high on the list, actually. Um, but then... No one was going to implement it, so it went really far down the list <laughs> again. <laughs> it is at uh, the moment not on my list, at least. Although I know that Minecraft, although I know that Minecraft surely is working on um, workers in general. Yeah, we could put it on his list. Good so idea. we might put it on his list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I sent them home now, so they should get home, hopefully. Yeah, that's some... Your height, our last pep again. Yeah, that was a pretty good pathfinding of the barbarians, definitely, to find a way around up the mountain. That, uh, that, that, that's true. Yeah, Minecraft Charlie also said his list is full enough already. <laughs> you, you can ask him if he wants to switch with your list. <laughs> um, yeah, anyone want to switch lists? I've got a pretty big one. <laughs> I don't think anyone would want to switch with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even some Adams wants to switch with me, and he has a no, big list too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see. I know that Luna al also had a graveyard ready already too. Yeah, so. I know we had some schematics. We still got one raider left. Yeah, I'm not sure where he is. I'm I seeing do. him. He's in the water. Oh, that one went far as well. Where is it? No? That's weird. That, that red icon is usually uh, the icon for for barbarians. Ah no, it's for those. Oops, didn't want to open that one. No, then I have no idea where that one is. Oh, I think I saw him on the guard island back there. On the guard island? Let's see? But we got some guards there. Should oh we... no, it was just our guard. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that on our guard Any island? A guard. It's <laughs> <laughs> ciao, ciao, Captain Salt. Yeah, where, where did this uh, barbarian go? No idea. Must be somewhere. Meanwhile, I'm going to use the time to recall the guards to the guard towers. So they got a nice, easy way to get back. Right. There we go. I'm going to go to the second guard tower now. Maybe I should make the last few barbarians teleport. We talked about it once to have maybe a list. Maybe Orion has a bigger list. That's a good question actually. I'm not sure if he even keeps a list. <laughs> Instead of keeping a list, it's keep keeping I think, projects. I think in terms of um, concurrent projects um, Orion no, is working on, I think Orion is unbeatable in terms of concurrent projects he's working on. Um, like he's working on working on the forge. He has this B mod he's working on. 
He has um, the build system. Ow. Pathfinding library, block out library. He is working on block iron, he is working on the pathfinding library. All kinds of. Ah, recall, not sleep on the bed. Okay, almost all of them recalled. But trust me, my list is big. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Orion doesn't want to switch lists with me either. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't have. I don't have as many projects though. Like I, I, I'm pretty good at delegating projects. <laughs> I was al always wanting to. Like work on the vanilla AIs to make them more efficient. So I started talking with some add-ons so much about it uh, that he started implementing it. <laughs> so that one I got on some add-ons list. Um, I had a relatively big um, blockchain project that I was able to finish at the beginning of this year, not at the beginning of this year to be honest, around two months ago. Which finally <laughs> is off my back, it was a huge thing as well. Entire backend server infrastructure set up for something. Um, I had some other thing, another project on my list that I removed from the list because my university project list started overflowing. And yeah, I got a pretty big university project list from my PhD. That one you definitely don't want to have. Our workers are still sleeping because the barbarians are still around, right? Officially. Yeah, one is left somewhere. I'm going to walk outside and, and check out. Maybe I'm going to find one. Maybe I can find this last guard. This last guard, this last barbarian. Maybe he's stuck inside some water corner or so. Yeah. Should not, but maybe. Right. It's not here. I mean, we can wait an hour and see if he breaks in somehow. We got Scarlet still stuck here. What are you doing, Scarlet? Let me get a... Yeah, workers like to get stuck in the corner. Okay, she got out of it. It's because that corner doesn't have enough water. Ah, didn't want to go down here. Darn it. Here, no I did. I see campfires. Yeah, the campfires are still there. Uh, ah, you're, the, you're here as well. Yeah, walk from the other side. So where could they be? Maybe down in uh But then you should see eight. them with the rendering around it. Yeah, I mean... I'm very sure it's still active. There's this hole here, yes. Let me get some torches quickly. And some items I probably go should go get sleeping. Some gold to get spice again. And sleep something. Yeah. No, there's no... <laughs> there's a bunch of... That's funny, there's like... A, a place where barbarians try to path up <laughs> down here in the hole, but no barbarian down here. No. no. Ciao, Kaluki. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Oh, there's so many creepers out here of the colony.
Okay. Where could this barbarian be? If you were a barbarian, where would you hunt? I'm seeing here some letters at the north side of our wall almost. The barbarians. Maybe he circled our column he wants. That's funny. I wouldn't expect that from them. Where are they? Where the hell? Inside the wall west? Okay, I'm going to run there. Maybe I'm going to find something. So where do you mean, ninja? This red dot here? This red dot is the thing here. There's no red dot here in the map, in the wall in the west. No, that red dot is the is the top of the building here. You can't see it here. It's not a. <laughs> it looks a bit like the dot of the enemy. That <laughs> that I agree. <laughs> but it's a bit too big for the red dot of an. Um. I guess that barbarian is lost somewhere. Even though from the coding it should be impossible. I'm pretty sure he exists. I mean you can try the kill command if he does exist that will kill him. Yeah I guess I guess we might have to go again with the kill command. It's the second time we got it, and it's the second time, and it was already in the last time from the same direction, the raid. Yeah. So I guess there is some underground or wherever place where those barbarians really love, love being. He's not within the colony, I think, else he would have been found already by, by a guard. Yeah. What effect at E type raider glowing? Incorrect argument. I think it doesn't work with a raider. I think it has to be um, type um, mine colonies um, archer barbarian. Um, archer barbarian glowing. Oops. No entity was found, so it's no Archer Barbarian. Okay, let's try this through. Mine Colonies... Normal Barbarian? No entity was found. Okay, the last one. Chief Barbarian. No entity was found. Hmm. Zero entities killed as well. That's weird. Are our citizens back to work already? That is, that's really weird. So 
let's walk a little bit in the colony, load some chunks maybe, and try it again. Still. Yeah, I already tried the drawbridge. Maybe going a bit north. But our citizens are still in their houses. That means there is... The event is not happy yet. Yeah, I'm loading a bunch of chunks and doesn't seem to be around here anywhere. Yeah. I think it... that's the first time since a long while that I've had it not count correctly. Yeah, that's... That's fairly rare. Although it's weird, doesn't it regularly check if the barbarian is alive or so? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and it should even respawn it. So it probably thinks he is alive for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's uh, that goes on my weirdness list relatively high. Yeah. Where is it? Not here. Not existing. <laughs> is there any raid command we can do to like untrigger the raid or so? No. So, just waiting three days, basically. How long is yeah, it? I think it's one or one and a half day left. I think it's a day and a half left or so until the event will shut down itself. We run a little bit further in this direction here. And thanks a lot, Certify Gaming, for host hosting us. Um, time at 10,000. That definitely would work. No, it wouldn't, I think. Because it counts the ticks, right? Some add-ons. Yeah, but we're on the server. Uh, not sure if it would... No, it's because the entity... Yeah. Did the citizens leave? Oh, no, but uh, setting peaceful doesn't stop the raid either. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of directly makes the entities despawn without killing them correctly. So the raid doesn't register it. Is it possible that Raider may be walked off into some totally crazy distance? Hmm. Maybe, but apparently he isn't even loaded in the world, so... <laughs> John asked, did the, uh, did the barbarian go to the nether? <laughs> At this moment it would say, not not... Not uh, the least realistic option. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to check. Yeah, you can run into the nether and do kill raider, right? MC kill raider. Yeah, I think it's coming for... Let me check. So, <laughs> so Madden's is actually going to check in the nether now. He coded it. If something is wrong, it's his fault. <laughs> It's more like Minecraft's weird entity handling. Yeah, <laughs> Minecraft's entity handling. It's like a lot of people complain, ah, Minecraft colony entities are weird and they do this and that. And it's like, we do a lot of very, very, very hacky things to make sure the things work as they are now. Because the way Mi Minecraft enables us to do things is just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just so terrible, Minecraft entity management. Yeah. No, none, none in the nether either. None in the nether either. So, I guess I do appreciate this moment to um, 
wish everyone good night. Oh, there are some letters up the mountain here, even. From the mountain barbarians. Um, I wish everyone a, a good night. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Do not forget to follow, subscribe, become a Patreon if you want to support our mod and the development of the mod. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow again. Good night, everyone. Have a good one.